Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's only the beginning of footies, but I can already tell that this content is gonna crash the market. With insane evolutions, SBCs so easy to craft with the best of batch one that is in packs, and people sending coins into store packs trying to pack footies, it is not looking good for prices on this game. So I want to talk about that and the SBC that we had yesterday that makes it seem like EA is following the same schedule until we get to our 85 times 10 unlimited repeatable. All of that and more to talk about in today's video. If you're enjoying footies at the moment, drop a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you are new. Now let's start looking at yesterday's content by going to the Evo section of the game because honestly guys, Evolutions have really brought a new level of excitement and a new level of fun to footies because the Evo so far, and especially with the addition of doing two Evos at one time, has been amazing. Now, yesterday's Evo was a paid one, but honestly, I think the cards that come out of this are worth the measly 75,000 coins that it takes to get it done. Footy Superhero, which is actually for games Play 4, Play 3, and Play 4, so not too bad in terms of the games. That's another thing we love for these Evos, but you get two playstyle pluses. You get playstyle plus for Quick Step, an incisive pass along with the relentless and tiki taka regular playstyles on a card 93 max rated and uh, honestly none of the heroes in my club are 93 rated because i haven't packed any of like the fantasy and other heroes that are out so it's not my club that looks good for this it is just footbin and some of these combinations that you can see specifically like this yaya toure his Card here, this is what goes crazy with this Evo. Not even just players going into the footy superhero, into the footy's countdown, and then into the footy superhero. This Yaya looks crazy. This is the one that's really taken the community by storm. And actually, I'm able to complete this one uh, because I have not done my footy's countdown evolution yet. So I can put Di Natale into this and then into the footy super superhero. And for 75,000 coins, which is basically free if you trade a little bit, you get this Di Natale. 99 shooting, 99 dribbling four star four star with finesse trivella incisive and quick step that goes boom straight into my team dina tally is a card that i used earlier on this year i used him a bunch last year his finesse shots are absolutely goaded this card is just phenomenal but it's not just him that looks good from this i'm mean, even base ginola with the five five looks really usable ramirez in footy su superhero looks pretty good lucio looks pretty good multiple versions of yaya toure as we just talked about and here's another one Bomb Pastor, which actually, Bomb Pastor's SBC is still live if you want to go and complete her SBC. Uh, her card right now is not in packs. This 93 version is not in packs, so you can't pack it. Her 89 rated version is actually in packs right now, according to the batch one re release list. So if you want this 93 Bomb Pastor, you can go ahead and do the SBC. But like, look at this left back card that you can create here 97 pace, 97. Passing and dribbling as well, 95 shooting, 94 defense, 87 physical with whipped pass plus. That's got to be one of the better, more attacking, but also still good defensively with anticipate uh, play style left backs in the game. Really insane card there for her. So I think her SBC is like 100 something K. Sorry, just kidding, 300,000 coins. So it's not the cheapest, but if you want a French left back, especially with those France links, good for the weekend league right now as well, if you're going through that, this could be a card that it works for you. So guys, honestly, back to the Evos for a second, as I'm looking at Bomb Pastor here, like the Evos, especially with doing two at a time, the, the Evos that were dropped on Friday, the Duos ones, honestly, Evo content's bringing a whole new level to making footies what it is, right? Of course, footies is all about the pack grind and everything that's out there with the SBCs and the SBCs that we hope to come as well that we can, you know, grind towards and chip away at, kind of like Kaka, but maybe even bigger ones, right? Uh, it's just been nice to have Evos be like a central part of this footies promo as well. So I'm hoping that we maybe get one more today. And I have a tinfoil hat theory, maybe a chance for icons in an Evo today. We'll talk about that later in the video. But back to SBCs here, we already went here first. Um, to look at that bomb pass door, but let's look at the player SBCs that we had yesterday. First of all, with the Paolo Futre. And this one, I know some people are overlooking this SBC because they're like, nah, Nate, his card looks good, but it's only just good. It's not great. It doesn't fit into my team. I mean, let, there's nothing to complain about here with the Paolo Futre, who's five star skills, four star weak foot, four play style pluses, which of course I can't see because right now my card designs are glitched, incisive, quick step, technical, and press proven, and he has intercept, right? It's all about position changes with these icons and hero SBCs, and he is moved from the wing to the center attacking mid and center mid positions. 
man, the Futre card, the 89 rated that people, you know, raved about earlier in the year. This card, I think, was one of the main players that made and really real made people realize that technical dribbling was so OP earlier on in the game. This UCL Futre was unfreaking believable. He was so good. This card right here for 87,000 coins is incredible as well. Whether you're on a cheaper budget uh, or just want a fun card to trade with, I think this is an amazing SBC. He's upvoted. I don't think he's upvoted enough, to be completely honest. I think yeah, he's actually downvoted on the SBC, but I just think that's because for some people, it doesn't fit into their team. This is a 100% worth doing SBC. It's only two squads. And then W dynamic image and a very attacking player, even though he's a midfielder, you could play him as a box to box center mid with the high, high work rates. He's got pressure proven. He's got intercept regular. So very attacking player here, but I love the SBC. The other SBC that we had yesterday for a player was the opposite side of the coin, though, right? We love Kaká. We do not love the Riquelme that was dropped yesterday. I don't understand uh, why EA made this SBC the price that it is. Maybe they didn't want Anders to pick Riquelme, or they didn't want Riquelme to have a really good card, so they, sh they saw Anders pick Riquelme, and they were like, uh, we're not going to give him a good card or at least price the SBC very well. This SBC is still a little bit intriguing, I think, to some people, myself included, just because I haven't used a special version of Riquelme or any version at all. I love the story. Inspired by Anders Verjang, the FC Pro World Champion. That's kind of funny to have the card in there. But Finesse, Tiki Taka, Pinged Pass Plus, and Technical Plus. Like, it is an interesting card, but when you compare this to Luka Modric, like, Luka Modric is 300,000 coins, and this same card it probably, you would argue, a little bit better. A little bit different in the playstyle category for sure, but 900, 868,000 coins is 11 squads compared to Modric's four. That's just way too much. Now, I still get the intrigue with wanting to do this SBC for some of the reasons that I just mentioned, but the price does not make sense at all uh, for this Raquel May card. So that's a bit of a bummer. And you can see here, 2,200 downvotes. I think we had high hopes for another FC Pro Icon SBC after the drug, but it came out the first time. And on the actual SBC here, 900 downvotes. So I think people were maybe even interested in trying Raquel May. And I think a lot of people thought too that that um, Anders was going to pick Balak because that was a rumor early on, but it ended up being Raquel May. Now let's go to the upgrade section because we are all about the packs during footies, right? And yesterday we did have a WSBC, the 84 times 10, but nothing changed in the fact that it's only three times repeatable. I saw that right away yesterday at content and I was like, man, that's an L, only three times repeatable. But I think honestly, it's not an L, it's a W. I need to fix up my opinion there because this 8410 is probably the best upgrade pack that we've had on Saturdays. You know, we've been getting them on Saturdays for the past like five months, right? Since team of the year, we get something. This has been one of the best ones in that time frame. The 85.5 is right up there as well. But we absolutely love these. And yes, it's only three times a day. But this is what I was mentioning in the intro, guys. That's This is kind of where they started last year as well. Like the two or three times a day for the 84 times 10. They might kind of level this up to like being a few more times, maybe five times, maybe seven times, then 10 times per uh, day that we can do this 84 times 10. Then they'll go to the 85 times 10 and release that like two times a day, then three, then seven and five. You know what I mean? Like we, again, probably won't get an 85, 10 unlimited repeatable for a while, but this is still a really good SBC for now. I just wish, even though uh, I mentioned in yesterday's video, something about an unlimited repeatable pack being like lower rated. I wish we had something that was unlimited repeatable other than just the player picks. Like even if it was an 83 times five unlimited repeatable, um, for the same requirements as an 8410, I think I would love that because it would be something that you could continue to do, continue to craft to get some of those higher rated players. But nonetheless, this is still a great SBC. It's amazing. And uh, it's there, right? The other SBC is not as good. The 85.5 best of batch one. I saw some people on the timeline yesterday glazing this SBC. I don't really care to do an SBC that gives me cards from, you know, January. That's just my personal opinion. I get it. I get it. It's free. Basically with the menu craft again, right? Two team of the weeks and team of the seasons required in this as well. Of course, those cards are going to the moon. We'll take a look at those in a second. But, you know, this one's free with the craft, you could say. I mean, I don't know, though. Like, do I really want to do this SBC to try to pack team of the year Mbappe when I have the team of the season? Probably not. There's only, again, like I mentioned yesterday, out of the best of batch one, just a few cards that feel worth it to chase. Unless you're trying to chase somebody that fits in an Evo, like maybe Yaya Toure or something, then maybe it makes sense for you to do. It's still decently cheap and craftable. And, uh, you know, 
could get you something fun. At least you're going to get some high rated fodder that you can put back into exchanges and keep ripping player picks. So that is a fun pack to do, but kind of just a fun pack only. Now with that coming out, and of course the 84 times 10, as we mentioned, and we talk about team of the weeks and team of the season, since they're still in very high demand at the moment, Tots cards are 44,000 coins. I think they were all the way up at 45 at one point. What are they right now? Like 43, 44. Tots cards are up big. Uh, they're probably going to go up a little bit more today with whatever SBC content we get. Like these were 28K where we bought and we invested, right? They went up to 40. They went back down to like 35. Then they went up to 45 yesterday. So I don't even know what these are going to go up to today. I'm still holding on to my team of the season investments. Sorry, I hit the mic there. My bad. I'm still holding on to my team of the uh, seasons. Team of the weeks as well, I think, are booming. And you know what? I don't think there's really a hurry to sell these um, at the moment. I think you can wait and hold on until at least the early part of this next week, maybe Monday, Tuesday, before Wednesday you'd want to sell. But I'll probably sell sometime between today on Sunday and Tuesday to maximize the profits there uh, just because I was investing in a lot of these for to make coins but also to have a few of them to do SBCs with as well that's probably how I'll get the 84 times 10s done because I don't have any team leaks in the club at the moment so that's kind of the SBC content that was dropped yesterday but honestly seeing all of that content dropped and uh, also seeing the store packs that were dropped there's a 650k pack in the store um, you know it really kind of Something occurred to me. Oh, here we go. First pack of the day, 83 times two. We've got a Portuguese center mid, Renato. Yeah, it looks like a Renato. Are we getting a double walkout, though, in 83-2? We are not. But that's the fun of footies, right? The fun, the craft, the special cards continue on. But after seeing all this content, the footies cards dropped, especially how cheap that food tray SBC was, and seeing the evolution, it really... Am I packing Renato back-to-back? -back? No, I'm trying to get my point across here, EA. Stop giving me fodder cards in these packs. Oh, no, just kidding. We love it. That's Costich. Uh, anything else? No, but boom, like 83 doubles from the daily login. That's what that pack was. We love it at the moment. It's so fun. But after all this content, guys, EA's dropping so many footies players, and people are creating so many footies players from Evos, it's really going to start to impact the market. It's maybe not making prices drop a ton at the moment, but as this happens over the next week, we have a Team 2 coming out this next Friday with new and probably newer cards, like from more recent promos back in packs. It's just going to end up having a really, really negative effect on the market, especially everywhere in the game. SBCs, objectives, evolutions, the store. People are getting footies cards in from all those different areas and probably putting them into the team. Let me know. Comment down below how many footies cards you have in your main team. I think right now I just have one, but also I'm playing the France Weekend League working on a going to be soon footies show many evo card so i guess maybe it's like 0.5 for me and my team right now but i just feel like with all the cards that have been dropped maybe it's somebody from objectives like reese james you got from the cup or maybe you packed one of the players like sancho or courtois maybe even if you're on a lower budget and you got kalulu like that's a crazy card for how cheap he is it just feels like there's so many footies players out right now that are getting into people's teams and that's going to end up replacing the ptgs and end up replacing even some of the team that's tournament cards that were out from last week so the price drops are just going to continue i think some of the cards like we mentioned in yesterday's video did rebound really well like gakpo remember gakpo on during the stream on friday was three hundred and ten thousand coins and then we looked at him last night and he was 430 well now he's 390 he's around four hundred thousand coins again like i just think that some of those types of cards are going to continue to slowly drop over the footies promo time frame it's a long promo as well we're going to get a lot of pink cards i mean our teams are probably going to be mostly pink with some icons and heroes maybe thrown in there as well by the time this promo reaches its end point so um if you want to hold on to cards too just because it's something fun nostalgia for you then definitely hold on to a card and have the most fun you possibly can at this stage of the game uh, i just think that you know the, over the past couple of weeks we were so trained to thinking that cards were going to go up in value, right? It was all live cards, Path to Glory, Make Your Marks, and it was, oh, this card's just going to keep going up and going up and going up, right? At the beginning of PTG, we invested in some of those cards like the Saliba and, you know, even like the Julian Alvarez, and those cards exploded, right? And they just maintained their value so well. Well, this is going to be the exact opposite. So we have to make sure that we're not in that same mindset that we were in for like the past month because the cards and the time of year now since we've gotten into footies and the type of content is just completely different so speaking of the market though i want to look at fodder for a quick second because if you guys have a little bit of coins or if you're like nate i need to make a few coins there is a very easy way every single day to make coins especially because a lot of people are playing weekend league at the moment this is the big key guys 
84s and 85 rated. I'm looking right now at Footbin and seeing that 84s are 2K again. 2,000 coins for 84 rated cards, which were all yesterday at the content drop. I guess some of them are still a little bit above 2K. You can probably get them at 2K though on bid. Footbin is saying here that a lot of these are right around 2,000 coins, showing on the cheapest page right here over on the right side. Um, get these on bid for as close to 2K, even if you have to pay like 2.5. 1, 2.2, 2.3 even, that is an absolute steal. Look, Thomas Muller, 2,000 coins right there. This card's going to be over 3,000 coins selling today um, around the content drop because of the 84 times 10. I mean, just look at these graphs, right? Chloe Kelly, random 84 rated card. She yesterday went from 2.4 up to 3.5, down before content to 2.1, back up to 3.3. That's a weird graph to be completely honest. Let's look at Thomas Muller. What did he do yesterday? Thomas Muller, was 2,000 coins and went up to 3K. Like 84s every single day are hitting 3,000 coins. That's easy money. 85s in each of the last couple of days have also spiked 4.6K to 6,000 coins. On a Friday, they went from 6K to 7,000 coins. So, you know, we're going to get another SBC piece of content today. It's probably going to make those cards go up again. And of course, the regular 84 times 10 refresh, people are going to be needing some of these cards for that. 83s I would watch for as well. But if you're wanting to make some coins right now, I know it's like, ah, oh, Nate, market. You're talking about the market in late July, dude. Yeah, man, we all need fodder. We all need to get these packs somehow. And if you need to make a few coins... I mean, this is this is the way to do it. Like, I'm just going to buy a couple Thomas Mullers for 1.9. And I believe right after content today, I'll be selling them for 3,000 coins, maybe even a little bit more than that. So that's a really, really easy thing to do. 84s and 85s are probably going to do that all during the weekend when Weekend League is going because of the tradable packs that are supplied um, as a part of rewards. So I will continue to watch those every single day this week, uh, especially in, in Monday and Tuesday with the rewards still out because you're going to be able to make some coins there. Now, let's talk about Sunday content again today because we're just looking forward to more footy stuff because every day EA brings out something more interesting to kind of just aid in the pack grind, the player pick grind, the exchange grind that is already there, and it's kind of just interesting in itself in this game at the moment. Now, everything on Sundays revolves around the icon player pick, and last week we had a banger, the 92 plus Encore icon that included the greats of the game once again. Now, here's the real question. Usually, EA go for the hero, then the icon, then the hero, then the icon. If we get a hero player pick this week, I don't know, man. We just need an icon player pick again. Like, it's way more cool to have an icon pick in this game at the moment than a hero. And I would love it if they just re released this one, but maybe added the footies to it. I mean, that sounds too good to be true, right? Because there's only like, what, four or five? I think it's just four footies icons that are in packs at the moment Jardino, Ribery, Stoichkov, and Baresi. If those were in the player pick today, that would be pretty wild. I wouldn't expect that. If they even just re-release this Encore Icon player pick and maybe make it just a smidge cheaper, this is a little bit pricey, but it's worth doing for the great icons that you get in it. That would be a fun SBC, especially right now with the pack grind to be crafting. Like, let's say you get Kaka done. You're like, man, there's no other SBCs. Maybe you get Kaka and Modric done. You're like, there's nothing else I want to do. This would be a perfect icon player pick to do. I really, really hope that it comes back again today. If it does come back, you see the requirements here, right? 87, 88, 90. We're looking at the higher tier of fodder. I know this stuff has been down because a lot of the promo cards re-released are in like the 87 rated and above range. But I think 87s, 8s, and maybe even 89s a little bit. Probably not. Oh, wow. 90s are 17K. 89s are also 17K. I think if I was going to invest for the icon pick today, I would go 87s and 88s. That's where I'd be investing because those are the cards that went up the most last week when this pick was released. And I think if they're going to do another icon pick, it's probably going to be around the same price and kind of expensive compared to some of the other ones we've had in the past. So that's a ride look if you wanted to invest there. Of course, again, team of the weeks and team of the seasons will definitely be required in this. How many were in last week's? Two. You need one in the 87 and one in the 90 squad. So I think those would move today as well. Now, that's a big SBC, but we're probably going to get other SBCs, right? A player SBC. We've had one every single day. Of course, the food tray and Raquel yesterday. We've actually had two player SBCs 
for the first two days of this promo. Um, I think maybe today would be a good day for another footies player, not an icon or a hero. Maybe they take a break from that. If they're going to drop a, like two player species every single day, though, that would be like the true footies vibe. And again, for those icons and heroes, it's two back to back days now. But just to remind you, it is position changes for those cards with updated abilities and playstyle pluses to match. So if they drop another icon player today, that would be cold. But I'm just feeling maybe a regular player SBC. There's not any leaks for it yet either. I keep checking Twitter to see if um, anything is going to get leaked. I think the food tray was leaked before the content drop yesterday. So I wouldn't be surprised if there was another leak for somebody who's going to be an SBC today. So watch out for that. And then here's my little... This is what I want. I was going to say hint. It's not a hint. It's just kind of what I want. And I'm sure a lot of you guys would agree here. We had a hero SBC yesterday for footies. We had the footies duo, which was, you know, basically anything could fit into it. Drop a footies icon SBC. Like, even if it's going to be 100k... If we could put some higher to middle rated icons, we've all been doing icon picks recently. Think about how many, like, let's just go to my club really quick and go through leak icon. How many of the icons that I maybe have packed from like those winter wild card picks? I doubt any of the greats of the game would fit into it, but maybe even Golasso cards. Like imagine you could Evo Sawa. Oh yes, imagine Sawa could be evolved from this card who was such an absolute beast and still shows up in weekend league teams to this day. Like, imagine you could Evo her card to four playstyle pluses to like 95 rated. Basically, what they dropped today for the hero Evo, if they did it for icons, mm, that would be absolutely mint. Roberto Carlos, 93 rated. This Maldini is 93. Mia Hamm is 93. You know, maybe even some great to the game like Hugo Sanchez is a 93. Unless his stats are too high, could fit it. Bird Camp would be sick. Rivaldo could be sick as well. Like, I'm just EA. I'm creating content for you. We would love to see this. A two place style plus icon Evo that gets us to four. You know, that'd be awesome. Zambrata for a birthday. We have that. Schweinsteiger. I'm sure a lot of you guys have other cards too that are like an icon that was usable in your team for a long time. That if, man, if we just had a footies icon Evo, kind of like the hero one, it would be massive and it would be very, very well appreciated. And again, just another part of the fun footies grind. So I got my fingers crossed for that. No leaks, just the hope there. And, and of course, it's another day of the pack grind. I got to get my 84 times 10s done. Also, guys, like I'm going to probably fraud and miss a day of the uh, daily play. But it is actually worth, even if you don't have a ton of time, just going in and doing the daily play through like squad battles. Do a quick couple of games of squad battles and get your evos done. Because yes, the daily play completionist is only five days. You'll get it done. But the daily play objective, you can do every single day more than five times, right? You can do it all seven times of the week. 80 times two, 81 double, 82 two, and then an 83 double. The 83 double that I just opened was one of these from yesterday's daily play that I just packed um, the cost stitch in. Like stuff like that. It's those little packs like that that you just keep getting every single day that keeps the fodder coming in, gives you the exchanges and the ability to craft other SBCs and just makes the menus right now so much fun. So I'm actually gonna go commit here to this evolution for Dean Natale because I want to do that. How many days left? I've got six days left to do Crouch because I just committed to that one. Uh, also guys, if you didn't know this, you can sort Evos by newest by pressing triangle uh, on the PlayStation. Uh, insane. I did not know that. I didn't know there was a sort option here to be completely honest. So hold on. Let me go get footies countdown and let me put Dean Natale in this because this is the double Evo situation that we are going to do. And this Dean Natale is going to go boom straight into my team. So Dean Natale, start evolution, footies countdown, and then he goes into the footies superhero evolution as well. So we're going to have ourselves a 99 shooting, 99 dribbling Dean Natale with finesses that are going to go top in. So can't wait to get some of these Evos in progress and moving. And uh, I have not started playing my champs yet. That's the hope for today. I do plan on streaming today. That is the hope. We will play some foot champions, get our France team going for those extra packs. And uh, we will be there for hopefully some more pack pulls. I did not open like any packs yesterday besides the two that you saw me open today. Oh, speaking of packs, just really quickly to end off the video. We didn't look at the store packs. Um, man, it just seems... Whew, I know the footies cards are a little bit difficult to pack, but 650,000 coins is just, it's its a lot. It's a lot. 84 times 25 as well. We've had bigger guaranteed packs. I'm sure there's tons of special cards in this. 
Um, so if you have the coins, it definitely is intriguing. But also what's intriguing to me is the 425k pack. You get more players. It's an 83 times 40. You still get 587 plus from it. You just don't get the guaranteed footies cards. You can still pack footies from it. Just the odds are a lot lower. So this one I think would be interesting as well to do with coins. If you're de deciding between the 650 and this, this one's definitely worth a shout with coins as well, uh, just because you're gonna pack a lot of special cards. I've seen some of the pictures on Twitter of people packing uh, the Duo Guarantee, the 650K pack, and it's just like a page of specials with some more behind it. So that those two are interesting to me. Now I'm trying to be a little more careful with the coins because again, the stuff that is re-released in batch one right now is kind of like, you know, it's okay. Batch two, batch three, I'd be more interested in doing the store packs then. So maybe it's a little bit more worth saving your coins for when better players are in the re-release as well, just because you might be wanting to do more of the gamble type SPCs like the 85.5 and the batch player pick if we have better cards in the re-release batch. So I'm looking forward to that this Friday and super happy that batch one goes out of packs this Friday instead of like two weeks like it was in older games. So that's going to be the video for me today, guys. If you did enjoy it, drop a thumbs up on it, comment below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys on the stream today. That link's down below in the description. Catch you guys there. It's been Nate for the count. Peace out. <laughs>